What do you build me up? Buttercup, baby, just to let me down And mess me around in the worst of all What is going on guys? I am back with another review of a day at an amusement park and this time I will be discussing Sunday, August 30th at Hershey Park. That is right ladies and gentlemen, in honor of my 18th birthday coming up tomorrow, EB and I got to go to Hershey Park this past Sunday and finally ride Candymonium. And Candymonium is so lit you guys. And stay tuned for a full review on Candymonium coming out like tomorrow. And so anyways, let's just get into this review of the day. So the first thing when EB and I got to Hershey Park, we did Candymonium. And the line moved pretty quick, but it was long. And the station is so themed, you guys. Like, if you haven't already seen it, it's themed because it has all the different colors like Kisses, Reese's, and Twizzlers. And it's just so lit. And when we first got on, got in the station, they put us in row six, which I'm completely fine with since that's the second to back row. So, so we sort of know how it's like towards the back on Candymonium. And so, anyways, when we first got on, I had no idea that you were allowed to Earth on it until the restraints were already closed and EB figured out that the that that our feet were technically our feet are dangling on your feet are dangling on candymonium and so you're allowed to earth on it and i did not think that you would be allowed to go barefoot on candymonium because there was like literally there's like literally a floor to it but technically your feet are dangling on it so you're allowed to and so anyways that was still a good row row six ride on candymonium we got in the kisses train and so anyways after that row six ride on candymonium we headed to Sky Rush, which I did go earthing on because I sat in the winged seat for the very first time on Sky Rush, and we got front row on Sky Rush, and we got front row on Sky Rush too, like we did last time, and which was absolutely lit, and it was a lit ride on Sky Rush in general, and so anyway, Sky Rush is my favorite coaster at Hershey, definitely for the intensity and stuff, and so anyways. After we rode Sky Rush, we stopped at Gourmet Grill for a bite to eat, and I got tacos, and I, w I got tacos because I was looking at the Southwest Grill side of the Gourmet Grill, and you already know what it's, giving, that, what it's giving me flashbacks to when Burrito Cantina was at Thorny Park because they had burritos and burrito bowls and all that, and I miss Burrito Cantina at Thorny Park, so I had to get some tacos. And so, anyways, after that meal at Gourmet Grill, we headed to Great Bear, which I which I went earthing on also, and it was a really good it was a really good ride back on Great Bear. I remember when we marathoned it last year, and and a year later we were on it again. And so, anyways, after we after we rode Great Bear, we were gonna ride Triple Towers, but. We found that both the Hershey's and the Reese's Tower were closed, so the Hershey's Tower was a long line, and we didn't even bother waiting for it because, like, we 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 wanted to make sure we got on all of the coasters that we wanted to. And so, anyways, after that disappointment right there, we headed to Trailblazer, which we both got the credit. We both have the credit on now, but it's still a good family coaster to ride. So. We got on it, and so anyways, after that ride on Trailblazer, we headed to Sidewinder, and it was my first time on it since 2018, and EB's first time on it since 2016, and it was, like, jerky and stuff. I, I thought, I remember it being the smoothest Vacoma Boomerang I've ridden, but surprisingly, it isn't, because it's jerky and stuff. And so, anyways, after Sidewinder... We headed to Wildcat because 
we decided not to wait for Fahrenheit because you know what happened on June 15th where we waited in, ex in an extremely long line to get on Fahrenheit and it took up all of our time. So we did not want to risk that again. <laughs> and so anyway, so we just headed for Wildcat instead. Now, uh, I forgot to mention, before we got on Wildcat, I took a number 12, <laughs> which was really funny. While well, EB was taking a number 6. And so, anyways, after EB's number 6 and, EB and my number 12, we headed to Wildcat, and it was, like, shaky. Like, when I first went on Wildcat back in 2016, if you didn't know, this was my favorite coaster at Hershey when I first went on it back in 2016. But in 2018, when I went for Christmas Candy Lane, I was still happy that I got on Wildcat, but I was sad that the, like... Great Bear and Sky Rush weren't open, and that's what made me appreciate the other coasters at Hershey, such as Fahrenheit, Great Bear, Sky Rush, you know. And so, anyways, after th after that ride on Wildcat, we had in this visit I'm reviewing right now, we head to the Lightning side of Lightning Racer, and I mean we were the where you were only able to do the Lightning side since we didn't want to waste time by also waiting for the Thunder section. And we won on Lightning Racers, so that was pretty cool. And so, anyways, after that ride on Lightning Racer, we checked the line for Fahrenheit again. And it and it was, like, so long. And, at, yeah, it was so long. And so, anyways, after that, we checked Reese's Cup Fusion's line. And it was, like, so freaking long. Like, my gosh. Like, I think it might have been out of the queue or something. And so, anyways, after that disappointment, so two, so two disappointments in one row, we headed for another ride on Candymonium, and we were hoping to get the front row, and luckily, we did. And I went earthing on it this time, too, to make up for the last time we'd ridden Candymonium, where I didn't think you'd be allowed to go earthing on it. And it was a really good front row ride on Candymonium in general. I'm, I'm going to give you a sneak peek preview of my full review of Candymonium, okay? Candymonium is a front seat ride. And so, anyways, after that front seat ride on Candymonium, we headed to Subway for me to get a meal since EB wasn't able to get a meal with me since he had just spent the last of his money on water before we rode Wildcat. And so, anyways... I got that meal at Subway, and it was really good, although they don't serve them toasted, so that's a, one of the unique things about Hershey Subway, and so, anyways, after my meal at Subway, we wanted to see if we can get at least one more ride in on Candymonium, but the line was long, and so, Bibi and I realized we'd be waiting past closing, and so, anyways, after that disappointment, we headed in the retail store because I was going to try to buy Candymonium and Hershey Park socks because I just couldn't resist. But it turns out I didn't have enough money for both socks. So, and my debit card was declined because, like, the, the total was $33 and I had $31. And I didn't know that at the time. So, that was a disappointing moment at the end. But what I liked about the Hershey's retail store was the Hershey Park's logo wheel like spinning in circles slowly and that was entertaining to watch while in line to hopefully check out my Candymonium and Hershey Park socks which I didn't buy but uh, but a cool part adds to a disappointing part be because the Hershey logo was spinning and it was so cool and it was so cool inside the Hershey's retail store in general and and plus, what was also disappointing about that shopping trip was they didn't have the Sky Rush and Great Bear socks that I wanted since, uh, since let me state my top three coasters at Hershey right now. Sky Rush, Candymonium, and Great Bear. Well, they sold Candymonium socks, but they didn't sell Sky Rush and Great Bear, Great Bear socks that I've seen in other people's YouTube videos of, of, of Hershey's retail store. And yeah, so that was a pretty disappointing trip to Hershey's retail store. And so anyways, that basically ended our visit for, to Hershey Park. Reply to me your thoughts on this review of the day. 
make sure to stay tuned for more of those coming to Coaster Plus Music 19, and I will see you in the next. Funny thing I forgot to mention too, we were at Hershey Park on August 30th, 2019, and now, a year later, we were back on that same exact date. Isn't that crazy again?